The theme of your talks while you were here at the summer school here in New Zealand was called Forces of Our Time. Mm. And this was really big about forces of light and, and darkness and the purpose of religion. Do you want to just you know, tell our audience a little bit about what this talk was about? The talk was based on the Baha'i understanding that when a new messenger of God comes, great spiritual forces are released into the world. And these forces permeate every atom of existence. It says, in essence, when the messenger of God comes, he comes for the transformation of humanity. And that comes one heart at a time. So Baha'u'llah has released great spiritual energies, and we connect with these energies when we read his writings. So although he chanted and wrote these uh, wonderful teachings that we have, when we read them now, we connect with these spiritual energies. And so what we see is a world in transition. Baha'u'llah has called for the unification of mankind. And yet we see in the world a number of circumstances where people are very comfortable with the way things were, and yet these are barriers to the unification. And as a result of that, we see a lot of corruption in the world. We see a lot of dark forces in terms of prejudice, racialism. We see communities unable to work together. We see economic problems. We see all these problems we see as mankind dying to be led to unity. And so what Baha'u'llah and the purpose of the Baha'i Faith is, is to understand these great forces that have been released in the world. We live in a tumultuous world, not only in terms of all the great uh, earthquakes and floods and famines, all these things which are affecting mankind, some of them sent by God, but really others of man doing because of war, famine results. Because of war, we have a great dislocation of people. Number of refugees around the world is daily increasing. These are great social problems for humanity. And Baha'is understand that this, all these things that are taking place in the world are helping mankind understand that we need to move towards a new way of thinking about how the world can operate and function. And so we see these dark forces in the world in being response to all those things that are preventing mankind from becoming more united, realizing that we are one people, we are all children of God, and that the forces of light are really the forces of religion that help people understand, change their heart, transform the individual heart so that they can have greater compassion, they can become a, an agent of change in the world by being of service to humanity. And as we mentioned before, these activities for children, youth, and adults are the first stage of bringing about a new community and a new civilization because these are things that brings people together that enables them to have hope and a purpose in life. Now you talk about dark forces, but actually the Baha'i view on light and darkness and good and evil is quite unique and quite different than what some people may understand. Yes. Baha'is don't believe in a force of evil that exists on its own. We see darkness as only being the absence of light. And so darkness can be overcome by light. We see evil and the devil as being used symbolically. They're symbolic for man's lower nature, the nature that makes man self-interested, that makes man want to be greedy. All these attributes that we see in the animal kingdom, which are necessary for its survival, these are the lower nature of man. Man also has a spiritual nature, and this is his true reality. So really Baha'is see people as being not physical, but really spiritual beings. But because they're living on this planet for a period of time, they have a physical reality. And so because our essence of our reality is spiritual, these positive forces of love, of unity, of humility, of forbearance, of compassion, all these qualities we call the forces of light. And as Baha'is, what we need to do is daily work on our own characters to make sure that our higher reality has dominance over our lower nature. Our forces of light have dominance over our forces of nature. So really, our lower nature or the devil um, are things that are unworthy acts. They're acts that are unworthy of mankind because they're self-centered acts. And the positive higher nature of man has to overcome and do battle in order that we bring about a greater level of cooperation, of unity, of feeling of oneness amongst our, our own family, amongst our own neighbours, 
and eventually the entire world. And to also be at peace with ourselves because we, we as human beings know when we're doing something that's not worthy. We might try to overlook, to distract ourselves with other things, but inner peace and tranquility of the individual comes from when he behaves in a noble way. Yeah. And Baha'u'llah says that irreligion is the main cause of this. The people have lost or don't have an understanding of what true religion is about. And that uh, for some people it's a very passive thing where they go to a church or they go to a synagogue or they go to a mosque or they go to some other place and they sit and listen to what people say and then they think, I've done that, that's religion finished for the week and then I get on with the rest of my life. Whereas the Baha'i sense of religion is far more than that. Baha'u'llah said, noble have I created thee, yet thou hast abased thyself. And so it's about understanding that we have within us things that need to improve and working on those. And when we do that, then we can become a source of joy and happiness to other people. We share this light with other people.